Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Korlick with Figured Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and today I have a very interesting video for you. I mean, I've covered a lot of different stuff over the years, but this is special, because this is the first time ever that I am responsible for a breaking news story. Uh, now, if you've seen the title of the video and you already know some of the backstory and you just want all the new information, please feel free to skip ahead to this time code to get that. Otherwise, stick around for the backstory here. Um, so basically, here's the situation. Uh, there was at one time a game in development for the Sega Dreamcast called Dear Avenger 3. Uh, now, the game is, was ultimately released on PC, and it's, it's a farcical hunting game from the perspective of a deer where you hunt people. Um, the game was, the Dreamcast version anyway, was a big time secret apparently, because nobody knew it was in development. I mean, you look at all the cancelled games on the Dreamcast list, of which there are many, uh, Deer Avenger 3 never comes up. So. Nobody knew it existed until uh, spring of 2017 when a GDR of it randomly popped up at a rummage sale in New Jersey. Now, a GDR, this requires some uh, level of technical understanding, but basically it's a disc like this. This is a GDR copy of Shenmue 1. It's basically a beta build, and don't worry, this version already exists on the internet. I'm not holding anything special here. Um, but these, uh, these discs are special internal prototype discs that companies like Sega or other major publishers would use when they were developing Dreamcast games. They could basically use development kits to burn discs uh, and then test games internally. They were never meant for public consumption. In fact, there's actually a, a defense mechanism in them designed per, to prevent exactly that, which is these discs, if you try to just put one into a Dreamcast, it will not boot. You need this. This is something called the Dream, uh, sorry, the Dreamcast System Disk 2. It's basically a special boot disc designed to run one of those. In other words, very uncommon. Um, so what happened was these dudes in New Jersey find this disc and they do enough, I guess, Google searching to realize they have something special on their hands because there is no record of this game. So they go to the Dreamcast community and try to get more information. Long story short there, the Dreamcast community helps them to verify that the disc actually does function and there is some content on it, but when they go, when it comes time to like rip the disc, the guys were, I wouldn't say unwilling, but they had a price. They attempted to create a $1,000 GoFundMe campaign and that ultimately did not prevail. Because of those actions, they were largely shunned by the Dreamcast community and the project was kind of considered dead. So for a few months, uh, there was silence, and then all of a sudden that same GDR disc appeared on eBay, where it was ultimately sold for $500. That is where, until now, the story has ended. Nobody knew what happened to the disc. Time for updates. So, a couple months ago, I was contacted by a guy in the San Francisco Bay Area claiming to be the owner of the disc. Uh, that individual is a fan of my channel and also requests to, be, to remain anonymous, and I'm going to honor that request. Uh, so they contacted me and said, next time you're out here, would you like to try out the game? And I, of course, jumped at the opportunity. I said, absolutely. So I had to wait until that came up. I do get sent to San Francisco rather often, but I never have much control over when that's going to be. So when that eventually did happen, the person was willing to meet up with me. They came to my hotel room and they brought the disc. So here's some footage of myself with the disc. Uh, it is real. I have held it. I have played it. It is safe in that sense. Uh, so... The person was willing to take a lot of my questions and talk to me about the release, what they knew, and all that kind of stuff. And so the first question you all have, and I already know it is, is this going to be ripped and released? Unfortunately, that is not my call. The sense I got was that the person mostly bought it to secure it. I know they successfully ripped it. The disc has been digitally backed up onto hard drives and SD cards and stuff like that, and they're all sitting out in San Francisco somewhere. Um, but they have no current, I guess, motivation to actually release it. The sense I got was that if you, if they got enough positive response from a community that seems like super excited about playing this thing, then maybe, but I mean, that's, that's kind of the sense I got. It's obviously not my call. So what I will say is if you're like, oh, I want them to release it, what a fucking asshole, don't write that. That's not gonna help anyone. So it's more attract more, you know, uh, flies with honey. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, that's my guess is how that's going to play out um, if it works out at all. 
So anyway, the disc has been successfully backed up. That much is true. Now, having talked to the person for a little while, um, I got some additional information before I started playing it. One was just a little side note that I found interesting, but not really relevant to anything. The, this person was not actually the person who bought it off of eBay. So what happened was that this person in San Francisco wanted to buy the disc from the guys in New Jersey, but simply lacked the funds. So they actually had a friend buy it for them. Now, the, why that's interesting to me is that the friend actually lived in Chicago, which is where I live. So it's kind of fucked up to me that it stopped here on its way out to San Francisco. Um, so the person in Chicago bought it. It stayed with them for a while, I guess, until the dude in San Francisco was able to pay that person in Chicago and ship it out there. So it's kind of funny that it, it did this weird like round trip type of deal. Um, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so they have the disc, uh, and it, there it is, and they let me play it. Um, now, I had intended to record footage of it and uh, show you all that, and I did that on my first trip out there, but I ran into an interesting little technical problem, which was that the game does not support VGA mode, which I found interesting. VGA mode is the basically the enhanced definition mode where the Dreamcast run, runs games in 480p. Um, most games support it, uh, and I thought it would, but it did not. Uh, so that became an interesting little technical problem. So I ended up getting some footage and I came back to make the video. Uh, but then I realized I really wanted 480p footage and I figured out, a, I thought, a different way to get it to work. But until I couldn't test that theory until, you know, sometime later when I was actually going to be back out there. Um, so I did that. And the theory was that if I could get a digital copy of the game, I could put it into an SD card and then I could put that in the GDMU, which is a uh, Dreamcast device that allows you to play games off of SD cards instead of a disk drive. Um, I thought if I could boot it off of that, I could run Codebreaker in front of it and that would force boot it into VGA. There's a lot to that, but basically, as I mentioned before, it's one of these type of discs. You can't just boot one. You need this type of boot disc. So in a normal case, when a game doesn't support VGA mode, the high resolution mode, you have to put in a special boot disc first. You can't put two boot discs in. It's not gonna work that way. So, I asked for permission to, once I come back out there, to play the, the, the a rip of it on the GDMU. One, to see if that would work, which it did. And two, to try and see if I could put the code breaker digitally in front of it and force boot it to VGA mode. And it worked. So that's fascinating. So the game does support VGA mode, but there's an interesting little back door to it. Now, if it ever gets ripped publicly, I'm sure that people could, you know, fix that for actual burned copies of the game or whatever. But it's just interesting to note to the Dreamcast community, the game supports VGA, but requires a force boot. Um, now, when it comes to the gameplay itself, it is very interesting to note that this game is not a beta of the game. It's a beta of the demo of the game. What I think this was, I just speculate on this, but what I think it was, was that uh, this was being constructed for official Dreamcast magazine as some sort of sampler. Um, and the only evidence I really have of that is that when you turn it on, it straight up just says it's a demo. I've never seen a beta that claimed it was just a demo. It's clearly a beta of a demo, um, and I'm guessing it was intended for Dreamcast Official Magazine, but that is pure speculation on my part. Um, so as a result, there's not really much content to it. And I did a, a capture of it, and you guys will see it in this video, completely uninterrupted. That's why I wanna give you guys some preamble here so you understand what you're seeing. Um, Basically, there's not much to do. You're lucky if you get five minutes of entertainment out of this. You play as this deer and you can run around the environment, which I do, and your objective is to find the human, kill the human, and you win. Now in this demo, they put you pretty much right next to the human. So there's nothing really stopping you from just winning right away. So you'll notice in the footage, I don't do that. I just run off in a corner and I, I try to show you different things, the space, I make, I, I try some of his like taunts and his, he randomly farts and his jumping and stuff like that. I just do that stuff to show it to you. Um, I also show you that I can shoot at stuff. You can go, you have to go into a first person mode to shoot. When you do that, there is no gun. So it was, I don't know if it was not finished or if it was meant to be that way or what, um, but you can't actually hit anything other than the human being, which is this girl. Um, so that's like the last thing I do because once I've shown you everything, I shoot her. As soon as you hit her, which is actually surprisingly hard, uh, she will get shot, she will fall, and she dies, and then the camera starts to spin. 
I believe that's where the demo was intended to end, but there's no content beyond that, so it just infinitely loops in a circle. Um, so that's why another reason I decided to do that last. Uh, the only other thing really worth noting is that it's obviously very buggy, that there was no music or anything like that, and if you press the start button, it crashes the game. Uh, so I'm gonna leave you with that thought. Uh, to, suffice it to say, hopefully this gets leaked. I wish I had the power to just do that for you guys. I don't, I'm just, I'm the middleman messenger here who got to play this thing. Um, hopefully that comes out. I would suggest positivity because I think that's your only real shot is just excitement for the fan base to want to play it. I think that's your only chance from that happening. Um, but if, if we never get it, you're not, honestly, you're not missing anything. I'm telling you the truth. The, the footage you're about to see is every single bit of content that there is. It's, it's nothing worth playing, to totally be honest with you. But I still see why people would want it. So anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully it comes out. Hopefully we get to try it out. The rest of you get to try it out. And um, enjoy this footage. I'll see you all later. It's showtime. Who wants tickets to the Dukes of Hazard reunion show on ice? Who wants free coupons to the Piggly Wiggly? Hey, Dolly Parton's bra! Wow, an original copy of Sweet Home Alabama. Anybody want to do a free bird sing-along? Who wants tickets to the Dukes of Hazard reunion show on ice? Hey, Dolly Parton's bra. Who wants free coupons to the Piggly Wiggly?